Hey guys, Shock here from Shock e Tech, and in today's video, what we are going to do is we are going to be sharing five powerful features of the S Pen for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. So as you know, Z Fold 5 is fully compatible with the S Pen, so let's explore some of its best capabilities. All right, the first trick has to do with the calendar application, which is right over here. Now there's a couple ways to get this trick done. Let me show you the first way. So basically just grab your S Pen, whatever type of S Pen that you have, and then launch the calendar application. Now once you launch the calendar application, if you have an S Pen enabled device, on the top you're going to see this little pen icon, and if you hover over it, it says right, as you can see. So then all you do is you tap on this one, okay, and now what you can do is right after you tap, you can actually zoom in onto your calendar onto specific days, and write on it with the S Pen. This is absolutely fantastic, okay? Because you can mark, you can write, you can take notes for a particular day, and then when you save it, it stays just like that. And even when I exit the application and come back to it, it's gonna be right there. Let me just exit completely, go back into it, and it's going to retain the handwritten note for that particular calendar. So this is an incredible trick to, to bring your calendar to life with the S Pen. Again, you tap this button, activates. Like I said, you can zoom in up to 400% so you can get that precision writing. And of course, because the display is so big, it's much more easier to take notes on this uh, beautiful display. So that's one way to activate this feature. Now, another way to activate this feature is you can press and hold and real quick, if you guys want to buy the Z Fold 5, there's gonna be links down below with the lowest pricing and the best incentives. And as of right now, the link down below is an exclusive link. When you click it, you simply get $50 Samsung credit that you can use as a discount. So the links and details are down below if you wanna buy one. So that's one way to activate this feature. Now, another way to activate this feature is you can press and hold on the pen button. Every pen is gonna have this button, and when you press it, it brings up the air command. Now under air command, you're gonna see this icon right here, okay? When you click it, it brings up the calendar with the writing mode enabled automatically, all righty? So real quick, let me show you one thing. If you press and hold, and if you tap on settings right here, okay? And if you go into air command, and if you go to shortcuts, what you are able to do is this thing right here may not be here by default, but you can see it says S Pen Features. So you can tap on it to actually put it into that Air Command menu, and it says Write on Calendar. So now it's at the bottom, so if I press, on, press this, it's gonna come right here. So when I click it, boom, it's gonna bring, I can start writing on the calendar. Of course, you do not wanna be as messy as me, but you get the idea. Zoom in, write, Save, boom, you're done. All right, so let's move on to number two. All right, so next feature. If you go into any field into which you can type with a keyboard, I'm just gonna bring a quick example. If I pull this up, you can see there's a search bar here. That means I can tap here and I can actually use the keyboard. What you can do actually is you can use the S Pen to input directly into the text fields. In fact, when you bring your S Pen close to the screen, you can see, you're gonna see that little scribbling icon, okay? So look at this, I can either search for stuff from here, so let's just say I was searching for Netflix or whatever, or what I can do is I can, when I bring this up, so look, I can just tap and I can start writing Netflix right here, and look at that, it converts that to text automatically. So I have Netflix right here now, uh, I could have used a keyboard, or if I'm just holding the S Pen, it's gonna be easy, boom, boom, you're good to go. You can do this with any application. So even if I go to Chrome browser, and if I just tap right over here, you can see we have that scribbling icon showing up. So if I tap right here, I can just start writing right here as long as we have a field into which we can type with the keyboard. I can now just go w, w, w dot and I can continue as you saw. So that's another fantastic feature you can use with the S Pen on your Fold 5. The next feature is known as Air View feature. Now this feature, you saw this and probably didn't, did not notice it, but let me give you a more pronounced example. So if I go to my gallery application, let's see, 
right here. So here we have a random album. Now air view allows you to hover over objects and get feedback. So before even I touch the screen, I'm able to get air previews of items I'm interacting with. So for example, here's a bunch of photos. Look at this. If I bring my finger close to it, nothing happens. I have to tap it to uh, bring it into the foreground. But if I just have my pen, I can hover over these and it's gonna give me a quick pop-up preview. I'm not touching the screen, okay? It's almost like magic, you can see. And I can come over here and I can share or delete. You can see when I hover over the options, it pops up and tells me what that option can do. Same with the delete option. Even that is part of air view. Let's do that on this one right here. Okay, and let's do it right over here. So before even I open the photo, I can just quickly preview a larger version to see if I wanna move forward or not. Now this feature does have to be enabled. It should be enabled by default, uh, but let's just see real quick, okay? What you do is you go to the settings, you go into advanced features, you go to S Pen, and it should be right here. It says Air View, okay? You tap on this one, and look at this. It is either enabled or disabled. You can only enable previews, or if you want, you can only enable the pointer. The pointer is this little dot you see on the screen when I bring the uh, pen close to the screen. Now, you may not see it in this video here because it's very light, uh, but I would just keep it right here, previews and pointer uh, to make it all inclusive. So fantastic feature. Now the next feature is something I use all the time. So basically this applies to the Samsung Notes application. This is a application that's built in to all Samsung phones and with S Pen you get additional functions. So it's right here. If, I'm, if I go inside, what I can do is I can tap right here and I can start a new note. And here's what I'm gonna talk about. So basically note taking is gonna be very nice on this foldable tablet-like phone. So one of the biggest things is gonna be when you choose the pen and you draw something, look at these circles and triangles and squares. They don't look that nice. So there's a way to make them look perfect and it's very simple. All you do is choose a pen that you want. Okay, pencil, pen, whatever. Let's just go with the red color to differentiate. So what you do is you draw a circle and then you press and hold. And that turns that into a perfect circle, okay? Let me just go back down here. Uh, let's say we wanna do a triangle. So let's do it, press and hold, boom, got a triangle, okay? And then square or a rectangle, boom, we got that. As a matter of fact, anytime, even if you do a curve and you press and hold, it's gonna give you a cleaner curve, okay? Now there's an additional feature in relation to this one. Now this feature was where I have to draw something. If I just leave it, nothing happens, okay? So I have to actually hold it in place till it settles itself into a circle. But there's another option. On the top, you got this toolbar. If you scroll over, there's an icon here that says auto fix shapes. So when you click this guy, everything is now automated. So look at this, if I go to a new page, now I just have to draw a circle and let it go and it's going to auto fix it. Triangle, same thing, okay? And I think now the arrow is gonna work too, so let's see, there we go. Okay, so now we're getting perfect arrows with the auto fix shapes. You can use it without this guy, but you have to press and hold. With this guy, you just draw, it's gonna auto fix it for you. Fantastic, it's gonna be very helpful to draw flow charts, or maybe if you're a student studying math, it's gonna be very, very helpful. Now, one more cool thing with the S Pen is it comes in with built-in sound. So if I launch a notes application or any other application where I can use the, the S Pen, so let me just create a new note, and I want you guys to listen to this. So when I write, it's gonna give me feedback, okay? That's the sound of a pencil writing on a screen. And it's a really nice feedback, there's no question about that. However, some people don't like that sound. Also, when you do certain things, it might be distracting or whatever. So what we do have is we have the option to disable this sound. So what you do is, that's gonna essentially turn on the silent mode for the S-Pen. So go to the settings, uh, go into the advanced features right here, then go into the S-Pen, and all you do is you scroll down where it says more S Pen settings, you click on it, 
okay? And all you do is you simply disable the sounds. Once you disable the sounds, now when I go back here, it is gonna be in silent mode. And this is gonna have a side benefit of saving you some battery life if you're gonna be working on that fold for a while. Just to produce sound, you need battery consumption. With this one, it is gonna eliminate that additional consumption. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. And like I said, if you wanna buy the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5, there's gonna be links down below with the lowest pricing and the best incentives to grab one. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below for now, guys. Have a fantastic day.